introductions. Hey, welcome to the second bal balloon game review. And the game we will be reviewing is a game called Boxhead to Play. Now, there's a number of games in the Boxhead series, including Boxhead the Rune, Boxhead, and the newest one, Boxy Zombie Wars. But I don't think any of them compare to Boxhead to Play. Even the new one that has better graphics, it's way too hard. You can't play co op. This one, simple but addictive, I think it's great. Now here's a look at the gameplay and the features. Now you can play single player and cooperative and deathmatch. Single player, obviously, you have one character and you have a wide range, wide range of them, but and in co-op you have two players, cause, so yeah. And also the same in deathmatch, you have two players because it's two people against each other, an objective, kill each other. Anyway, single player, you have a wide range of um, characters like Burr, who, who knows who that is, Bambo, which is meant to be Rambo, and you have a wide range of maps. In fact, you have, I don't know, you have tons and tons of maps, I can't even count them. And you can change the controls and, and you have a good variety of options that you can choose from. Anyway. The gameplay is simple, the graphics, you look like a Lego man, but the gameplay, simple, but I think it's quite brilliant. The objective is to kill zombies that come out from doors, and you have a wider range of weapons, but you, you don't have them all, as you just see, it's a new weapon, Uzi, so I just unlocked an Uzi, and you may be, and Uzis are just like Uzis, they're like, and then see, you unlock pistol double damage, which means with the pistol, it does double damage than what it usually would, and the ways you unlock this is, well, there's also levels, and the, yeah, and then there's boxes, and when you go through the boxes, you can pick up weapons, but... The weapons depend on wh how much upgraded you are. Like now I just got upgraded to a shotgun. So maybe if I pick up a box I might get an Uzi or a shotgun. Pistols have unlimited ammo because they're the basic weapon because you can't punch in this. And basically there's zombies and there's demons. Demons fire fireballs. But the best way to kill them is with an Uzi. Just fire them. Even when you get to the higher rocket launches and so on. An Uzi is always the most effective. And this is your list of upgrades. There's plenty and plenty. There's 90 upgrades. You can get rail guns, rocket launchers, all sorts of shotguns, grenades, moors. And you can see in the top, there's a little semicircle with times 16 in it. And that red thing. Well, as that red thing goes up, that times will go up. And that's your multiplier. And that goes up by when you're killing so but when you're not killing people it goes down as it is now and the more that goes up as you can see on the upgrade screen there's numbers and then when you get to that number in the t multiplier then you succeed and look there's things like barrels which are really handy for just laying them around and blowing them up and then as I said the demons the best way to conquer them is a newsy so yes the gameplay here is this it's 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 simple, but it's abs it's uh, it's so addictive and fun and brilliant. It's um it's flash based, I should say, but it's so it's a very very fun game. And as you get up, you see I've got all sorts of rapid fire shotgun, wide fire shotgun. Here, this is further on in the game. As you can see, my multiplier is now times thirty three. So I have a lot more upgrades, as you can see. And but it gets a lot more hectic. Like seriously. Look at this. I'm getting chased by how many zombies and then there's a there's a devil in there as well and I'm using my shotgun I have to get through their ranks and it's really quite addictive and it gets much harder but you get better weapons like especially some of my favorite you also get mines and grenades. Some of my favorite things are these things called um charges and you drop them and then you run away and explode them and then grenades come out of them and it's quite, they're quite fun to use, but a lot of the weapons in this aren't used for getting out of things, it's used for fun. Like, a lot of things that you might think are useless, like I just got myself killed there, but I trapped myself in with barrels, how silly of me. But, the game is made to have fun with, it's not meant to be a realistic shoot -em up And it's cooperative, cooperative, I love it. The cooperativeness is brilliant. Um... It's the same objective to kill the zombies, except the only f difference is you have two guys. The difficulty doesn't improve, 
or not improve. The difficulty doesn't get harder. And I'll just show you a different map here. Maze, perhaps. It's a maze. The difficulty doesn't get harder. You just have an extra person. And you can play with your friends. And it's it's just quite fun. It doesn't ruin it at all because it's just like an extra thing. You get through the levels much quicker because, as I said, the difficulty doesn't get harder. It's just you have an extra gun, really. So, basically, the same amount of zombies come. There's no extra zombies. You just have to fight it out. Like There's tons of different maps like this made with these white block things and there's some easy ones like the one I showed you before and this one this one's a medium one but there's some where you don't even know where you can walk and where you can turn so that's pretty difficult and there's there's usually extra orange boxes though because you can have a bit of a fire to who gets the orange box but yeah, the, the um, this is a maze, obviously. But it's, there's no you there's no objective to this. You don't come out the other end and you've succeeded. Basically, there's just monsters everywhere, and there's still demons. But in the options, sometimes I like to do it is turn the the devils off. In the options, you can do that because I don't know they just annoy me. But as you can see, with two people, it's quite easy to destroy. But as the levels get harder, sometimes you get two or three devils on you, and that's when it's pretty, pretty annoying and pretty hard. But it just adds to the challenge. And um, you can see the gameplay is fluent. It's um, it's the graphics aren't the best, but as I said, it's not meant to be brilliant graphics. And I'll just show. And, and it's like you get regeneration in this, like in Halo. If any of you have played Halo, I'm sure you have. Look. One of us is dying here. The zombies are killing us. But we don't lose because there's still one of us left. And this guy's just going to run away from the zombies. Try not to get killed. And look, the other guy regenerates. So, that's a pretty nifty feature because... um, Yeah, so basically if your partner dies, just tr try not to get killed and he'll come back soon. And when you might notice how he's been flashing, but... That's that just means he's invincible. Now the downside of this game, I am sorry to say, the downside would have to be um, the death match. It's just, it's just not very fun at all, really. Everything else, single player, um, co-op, brilliant. Death match is what lets this game down. It's, it's got the same amount of options, and you start off with every weapon. You don't have every weapon, but. You don't have to upgrade, like, you don't have a multipl multiplier. But as you can see here, Deathmatch, it has a split screen. But look, this watch runner. Player number one. Let's say. Which one is it? Player number one on our right. Right split screen. He kills the guy. Right? So the guy's dead. He gets a rail gun now. Oh my god, he has a rail gun. The other guy regenerates. He only has a pistol. Player number one with the rail gun owns him. Because he can't defend himself because he has a pistol. So player number one is only here. He gets an Uzi if he needs it. But he still has a rail gun. That's the toughest weapon to get. Player number two comes back with a pistol. Owned again. And it's ridiculous. Whoever kills first pretty much wins. There's no challenge whatsoever to it. Uh, I, that's that's something that you can definitely improve here. But otherwise, the gameplay is great. This is its only downfall. As you can see, look, play number one owns again. What can play number two do? All he has is a pistol. Like, and and play number one has a rail gun. But anyway, what does Boxhead rate? Well. It did alright, because I'm proud to say Boxhead 2 play got 3 out of 5 rubber balloons. It was great gameplay, very addictive actually, quite fun. The co-op single player, absolutely great. But it's down for, it went down in deathmatch, definitely. That's what, I would say, I'd prefer if they just scrapped deathmatch altogether. They would have got a higher rating, because deathmatch just really ruined it a bit. It wasn't as great. But anyway, thank you for watching our review of Boxhead 2 Play. And for now, goodbye.